How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some brand new news in the Persona universe. So, through some recent leaks and evidence that we have found, Persona 4 Golden is going to be released PC on Steam June 13th. Multiple sources have said this and these are typically sources that only say things that are true. Atlas hasn't confirmed it. However, we have reasons to believe that during the PC gaming show that was supposed to be this Saturday, June 13th, Atlas were going to debut the PC version of Persona 4 Golden and release it immediately that day. So, during this little event, which I had talked about in my earlier video where I talked about Persona 6 possibly being announced during this event, during this event they were also going to be giving us this Persona 4 Golden PC port and they were going to talk about it. So it's going to be releasing that day. So there's a good chance that this Saturday we'll actually get Persona 4 Golden on PC. So let's go over some other details we can have to back us up on this. So we have actual Steam icons. These right here are the Steam icons that we'll find in the Steam store for Persona 4 Golden. So this looks pretty nice. I mean, this right here is their standard logo. And this one might be the one where you actually click on it and it blows it up and looks a little bit bigger. So we actually have the Persona 4 Golden artwork here. I think this is artwork that they've already used for other things, but still, this is pretty cool. We actually have some evidence and some leaked mind evidence of Persona 4 being on Steam. And keep in mind, this isn't just a normal Persona 4. This is Persona 4 Golden. This includes all the DLC and everything. This is a direct port from the PS Vita, basically, to Steam in a PC version. It might run better. I, I'm curious to see how this will go. But we can read on down here that there are actually talks. It says Persona 4 Golden coming to PC, but alleges that an alteration of Persona 3 might also come to PC as well. They might just be testing the waters with Persona 4 Golden coming to PC. Maybe Persona 5 Royal just kind of finished and it's kind of hard to go ahead and just port that immediately. Maybe they were more worried about the console versions, but in the back they have the Persona 4 port coming. Maybe we'll see. If this sells well, maybe they'll do the other ones. I wouldn't be surprised if we see 3 quickly proceed after 4. I bet that would happen. And it's really nice. We're actually getting golden. We're not getting just the normal Persona 4. This is actually a pretty decent move on Atlas's part, I would say. And it's not unlikely this is going to happen, considering that Catherine is also on Steam as well. It's not like Atlas hasn't put one of their games on Steam, it's just we've never actually gotten a Persona game on Steam before. And Persona 4 Golden is probably the best one that they could do, I would think. It's definitely the one I think most people know, and besides Persona 5, of course, but it is a beloved game. And I think lots of people, without a doubt, Persona fans or just maybe Shimagami Tensei fans in general will know that this is a good game. And most people just know that it is very good. A lot of people think P5 is overrated, blah, blah, blah. But still, Persona 4 Golden is a very solid game. And I really want to see how well this will run. I think this will be pretty dope to see how good this will look on PC. And it also said there were news of the PC version leaked earlier today by Twitter, pointed out a Steam listing for the title as well. And a Steam developer also confirmed that it was Persona 4 Golden. We have artwork of it, we have a listing of it on Steam, we have all the evidence, we've seen everything else around it, we just don't actually have actual clues that the actual game is physically visually on our screen yet we have the icons we have the name it's in the steam directory it's all there and they're also doing this new show which is supposed to be on june 13th so this is supposed to be a stealth drop i'd assume maybe towards the end of the event they would have shown this off that this port was a thing and just sort of said hey it's also immediately available as well that's pretty interesting i wonder what else they were going to do it seems like this was sort of an afterthought for them to be you know showing off on the pc gaming show i wonder if maybe they had other stuff you know bigger stuff planned what are the bigger things they might have planned for this alongside this p4 golden being put on steam and it's relatively soon too it's just this saturday so i'm really excited to see what this is going to look like i feel like this could be pretty interesting 
And I want to point out the accuracy of this. This isn't just like this one website here that I've seen this on, but I've actually seen it on other stuff as well. There's a lot of credible sources that are actually going out and saying that, yes, this is definitely a thing, especially with Twitter announcing it and Steam and all the icons being shown that this is high credibility of this game being put on Steam, on PC. Steam, of course, I think it's probably just because Atlas has already released some games on there already, so they probably are just, you know, used to this as well. I wouldn't expect this to be on the Epic Games Store by any means, but just seeing how well they've done it on Steam, I bet it would be done that way. And it's a good thing we're not getting the 2008 version of Persona 4. We're getting the actual 2012 Persona 4 Golden release, which obviously comes with all the characters and whatnot. And this is a good move for them because honestly, it's kind of difficult to actually play Persona 4 Golden. Persona 4 regular, okay, if you have a PS3, you got it. It's on there. You know, you can play order PS2 games. It's on there. Persona 3, you can play that on there too. I don't even want to try and get to play 1 and 2, Persona 1 and 2, or Part 2 of Number 2. Those are pretty difficult to actually get a hold of. But to get a hold of Persona 4 Golden, you have to buy a Vita. You, you have practically no other way of doing it. You have to have it on Vita, or you have to have a PC that is able to actually emulate the game, which then you're not supporting the creators, and you get into that whole mess of things. Gabe Newell once said something like, a game won't be pirated if it's easy to get. And I, I'm a person who kind of believes that, so I don't fully blame people if they pirated or somehow emulated Persona 4 Golden on their PC. Because, I mean, why would you want to play the normal Persona 4? You want the better version. You want Persona 4 Golden. That's like playing Persona 5 right now instead of playing Persona 5 Royal. It's It just kind of doesn't work. If you're going to go out and buy a brand new game, you might as well buy the best version of it. So... This is a good move on them. It's kind of difficult to play these older Persona games. And as of late, we were starting to see a lot more JRPGs make it onto Steam. Especially Final Fantasy. We're seeing all the Final Fantasy games on there. There was a Windows port for Final Fantasy XV. And I believe Final Fantasy VII Remake came out practically around the same time it came out everywhere else. If it wasn't, it came out just during when everybody else got it as well. We're starting to see a lot more JRPGs make it onto Steam. And you can just tell in general, Atlas is trying to branch out and grow as well. Catherine is on PC. It's also, well, both versions are on PC. It's on Switch. It's on the PS3. And it's on the PS4. They are willing to port their games to multiple things. It kind of just shows that they are willing to do that. They did their polls. Do you guys want Persona 5 on Switch? The poll was a magnificent yes, please. So it kind of shows that the Atlas is really actually trying to work hard to put these older JRPGs that they've had onto newer stuff so people can actually get a hold of them. The best thing about it being on PC is just that anybody who has a computer can play it. It's not like consoles where there's console jumps. If you have a PC, you have a PC. You're able to play it forever. As long as it's on Steam, there's no big deal about it, which is so nice for us to have. And personally, I had to buy the normal Persona 4 game on PS3, and I really wanted to play Golden because I knew there were other characters, I knew there was other added content, and I just couldn't play it. It really sucked. So I'm glad Persona 4 Golden is coming to Steam. Once again, not 100% confirmed, but kinda is, kinda is. Atlas hasn't said it, but the game's in Steam. The game has icons. The game has art. It has everything but the actual game on Steam. So keep an eye out, guys. We'll check on it this Saturday. I will give you some more news on whether or not it is going to officially be there and whatnot. Obviously, I think Atlas is going to be saying a lot more stuff here recently with the multiple events that they have and. Who knows, maybe they'll announce other dates of when the other Persona games or maybe even Shin Megami Tensei games are going to be put onto PC. I would love to see the Shin Megami Tensei games also on Steam as well. I'm not sure if any of them are on there or not. Haven't actually looked into that. This was more just talking about Persona in general, maybe not so much as Shin Megami Tensei, but who knows? Maybe we'll start seeing more of these Persona games whenever they release get immediate PC ports to them or just flat out just builds where it's meant more for PC which 
down here it talked about an iteration of Persona 3 coming to PC, which makes me believe maybe they're going to be just doing different PC versions where it's an actual updated version of Persona 3. It's not like you know normal Persona 3 put on you know Steam, but actually like Persona 3 Steam Edition, like Golden Edition, Persona 3 Golden Steam Edition, where it's actually added more content. Persona 4 and Persona 5, they've gotten their extra boosted, you know, they got Persona 4 Golden, Persona 5 Royal, maybe whenever they bring over some of these older Persona games, they're actually going to clean them up and add some different things to them in general. Instead of it just being a port, maybe it's an actual overhaul of different things. I'm sure these games in general, maybe just Persona 4 Golden and some of the other ones don't quite need the graphical upgrades, but... Maybe some of the other ones could get some better graphical upgrades. I don't see how Atlas or why Atlas wouldn't take advantage of PC hardware and allow you to run better frame rates. I imagine they could. Persona 4 Golden definitely could be running a little bit easier on 90 to 60 frames. I'm sure they could do something like that. It's only ever really ran on 30, I'm sure. So it'd be nice to actually see graphical upgrades and seeing it full windowed. 1080p or possibly even better than that so i'm really excited to see where this goes and i think this is the perfect game to do it with because yes persona 5 is out but this is a game that's hard to get a hold of and if it's on steam anybody can get it as long as you have a computer it makes it very easy like to get this game the accessibility for persona 4 golden will become much easier to get a hold of but kind of rambling on and hopefully you guys got the gist of this video we're just gonna have to see june 13th on saturday what exactly happens and how much it'll be if it's 60 dollars, i'd probably still fucking buy it i wouldn't even care <laughs> um but i'll give you guys another update video saturday talking about what is going on with this and whether or not you know pricings and whatnot and when exactly it's coming out obviously we think it's going to be june 13th but once again that's not 100 percent confirmed that's just what we think but needless to say i will keep you all updated on this subscribe if you want to be updated more on this and just persona news in general atlas is doing more shows where they're going to be talking about more things so stay tuned this place will give you all your persona shimagami tensei just atlas news in general so once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.